South Africa's Matthew Lani oh, gosh, claimed this guy. to be a professional oh, oh. what? How's this guy, hey? He goes and he fakes the doctor. We've had a fake um, sign language guy. Now we've had a fake doctor. Mm. This guy went on um, TV shows. He did. He was interviewed on radio stations. Has a huge following on TikTok. Almost 250,000 people yep. following his quote-unquote medical advice. Mm -hmm. Not just following, but firmly believing. You well, know, this is our doctor. Some people buying pills from him. Well, he... Mm -hmm convinced everybody why because he always had a stethoscope around his neck maybe that was the clue because i mean when i look at my doctor they're not just walking around with their instruments like hey no they never call do. me doctor <laughs> they never do yeah. yeah no all the doctors real doctors who were watching his videos were like yes that stethoscope is a big red flag because you really you keep it in the car or you keep it in your locker uh -huh. yeah. whatever the case may be you don't wear it around your neck for a TikTok video uh -huh. yeah my doctor also said that the medical community is so small mm. so everyone almost knows each other so when this guy came out with his story it was like what what are you yeah. talking yeah, about yeah and his age kept on changing you've really got to google it if you if you've missed this whole story yeah. it's 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 hilarious actually Absolutely. I mean, it's a, a case of this guy claiming to be one of the youngest doctors mm -hmm. to yeah. come out of South Africa mm -hmm. and also one of the youngest pharmaceutical brand owners yeah. to come out of South Africa. So lots of big claims mm -hmm. and that actually made him popular. He left school at 16. <laughs> he skipped three grades. He got his degree when yeah. he was 21. Uh -huh. I mean, this guy's a... Also, when you're going to lie, you know, like, pick a lie. Yeah. Make it a little bit believable. Uh -huh. People said pick a profession where you can get away with it. Like yeah. marketing analyst. Uh, yeah, nobody's checking on welders. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, but such a big story that Wits University now had to come out and publicly refute the claims. Uh, that we, he graduated from... Do you think he just started out there. like just pretending to be cooler than he was on TikTok and then this thing just went a little bit too far. Yeah. People actually believed him. Also, apparently he's he's been pretending to be a doctor for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. So it's not a... He didn't just like dream this up a few months ago. He's mm. been at it. And that's why I say all of this effort, years of putting into the scammery, you could have actually gotten a proper medical degree. Yeah, yeah, more you know, than likely. He, all this energy and and oh time. But but he doesn't even have a matric, he so it wouldn't be possible. Also, how did he get away with it for so long? Do you think he was like watching shows like Grey's Anatomy? You get those people. I've watched so many episodes of Grey's Anatomy. Ah, uh, come ER, on. ER, call me a doctor. I know enough words. Let me let me tell you something. We've all got this. Um, shoot from the hip medical degree you know we we all know yeah. a little bit it, about about everything right i'll, I'll tell you now shirlin <laughs> uh -huh. once you have your babies uh -huh. you will become a fully unqualified pediatrician uh -huh. i was i became a pediatrician i knew everything well within my sort of area <laughs> oh, right you know i just was a, a was a sponge that absorbed everything the pediatrician said Mm. And I retain that knowledge. Do this, can't do that. If you, if you feel that, then you should take that. Take that, do that. Ba, 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 ba. I knew it. And every parent does that. Mm. But so but I don't think it's that difficult yeah. to, to fake your way for a while. But did you open up a Dr. Dad Darren t TikTok account? Well, I started and with give a... give people advice about... I mean, he does <laughs> like to give advice. I, I started with Lamar's classes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, even if you had asthma, you were welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jesus, another day in South Africa, eh? Yeah, you can fake anything. Oh, yeah. my word.